So it is finally time to plant the pine berries. And I'm excited. I've got the bed ready. I'm gonna get this in and then we're gonna be eating pine berries in a little bit. Not quite yet. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kiri and I'm just a city girl who wishes she was a country girl who's currently living in the burbs. And on this channel, we talk about all things micro homesteading from growing indoors hydroponically to growing outdoors in the garden and some other ways to become more self-sufficient so you can reduce your reliance on the grocery store and start growing your own food. So if that's your thing or if you'd like that to be your thing, then go ahead and hit subscribe and the notification bell and all that jazz so you will know when I post videos in the future. Today we are gathered here to plant some pine berries. Word on the street is they taste like pineapple, so I'm gonna need these in my garden. So now we need to plant them. So let me show you the setup, because we're in the front, because I go in the front, I grow in the front yard, I grow in the side, I grow in the backyard, I grow in the house, I grow just about everywhere, because as a micro homesteader, I have to make the most of any space, and every space. So here we go. So we have one sad and angry looking peony that was moved from over yonder because we're putting in a new raised bed there. I don't know if you can hear Fire Tuck, but he's singing quite loudly inside and I can hear him. This is the new bed. I dug up some mint and some lemon balm. Just in case you don't know, don't ever, ever plant mint or lemon balm in the garden. I knew this and I did this somehow thinking that I would be stronger than it. I was not in the least and it took over and then I had to spend all morning digging it out so I could put the pine berries in. So don't do that. It's a terrible, terrible idea. You will not win, ever. I have two red alpine strawberries that I grew indoors. I actually started them hydroponically and then transitioned them over to soil. If you want to know how to do that, I will put the link up above on how to transition from a hydroponic environment to soil. And now they are going to go from inside to outside. I've already hardened them off. Um, if you want to know how to harden off, I will also put a link up yonder so that you can see how to do that. It is very, very important. So you may be wondering why I have strawberries when we're here to talk about planting pine berries. And that's because pine berries are actually going to grow better and um, pollinate better if they are surrounded by strawberries or so I've heard so I had these two that I had already started so I'm gonna plant them in around the pine berries so I can get kind of I have eight pine berry plants and two strawberries so I'm gonna do like a four to one which is a good ratio for strawberries to pine berries so as I said apparently pine berries are supposed to taste like pineapples I have never tried them because you can't find them anywhere they're not really in the grocery stores so like a lot of things that I grow if you want to try them you have to grow them yourself so I'm gonna have to wait and see and hopefully they do because that would be really cool and then I would have strawberries and pine berries and then it would be like strawberries and pineapple which would be pretty freaking epic they are um, an ever-bearing type of fruit, so they're going to keep growing throughout the season. Now, they're not going to be big like strawberries. They do tend to be smaller. They are also not GMO. They are just a variant of strawberries. They're going to like a soil that's well-draining, that's also rich in um, manure or compost. I don't have, like my compost is in the middle of composting, uh, so I don't have too much of that to add. So I am going to go to the store and grab some triple, um, triple mix, which is going to be the compost, the peat moss, and the soil. So we'll go and add that in and hope for the best. Ideally, I would like to have some manure to put in, but I don't, and I need to get these in the ground. So you make do with what you have. From a pH level, they are going to do best between a pH of 5.5 to 6.5. If you're not sure what the pH of your soil is, then you can go ahead. Um, I'll put a link down below to some soil testing kits. Uh, but if you want to make your soil more acidic, a great thing to add is peat moss. It's also good to note that you don't want to be planting pine berries um, or strawberries where you have planted eggplant or peppers or tomatoes because there are um, because there are certain things that can be in the soil from those plants that can be negative for them for the pine berries so that can be the first verticillum verticillum pathogen i can't say it properly and the phytothora pathogen as well 
which can tend to be on the eggplants, peppers, and tomatoes. So it's better if you don't plant your pine berries around those. I've never had any of those things out here, so we should be so we should be good to go from that perspective. If you have some mulch, that'd be another good thing to put around these, but we'll get to that at the end. You can also put straw. Pine berries are gonna grow well in zones four to eight. So as long as you're in those zones, you're good to go. So that's enough talking. I need to go get some dirt and then we can get planting. And to get the dirt, when you don't dry, you bring your gorilla cart. So that's what I'm gonna do. There is ye old gorilla cart. Take these guys out. Oh shoot, that one's gonna bloom. All right, we'll do that when we get back. Let's go get it. Oh my God. And some peat moss. Should probably use two hands for this. Now we have a cart. Navigating around the cattle panels. Not particularly well, we'll call this off-roading. When you're a strong and independent woman and you need dirt, you drag your cart to the store. So that's what I'm doing. So we got the dirt, but holy Jesus, feels like it's going uphill. This is brutal. Yet, you're strong and independent. Oh, I must persevere with said dirt. All right, almost home. Okay, this is definitely uphill. Oh man, okay. These better be the best pine berries ever. Sorry for the shaky video, but this is hard work. Okay, so now that I'm fully recovered from the whole lugging the soil back from the store fiasco, I've had a bevy, I've calmed down, I'm not so hot anymore. Now I need to lug the soil from the backyard back out to the front so we can amend the beds and then plant the pine berries. It's hard to get in here. Strong and independent woman lugging soil. Let's go. to get this into here. These guys. So I'm gonna try and kind of keep the two strawberries in the center and then do the pine berries around. All right, so the strawberries are in. Next, we need the pine berries. All I'm doing is I'm just making a hole to spread out the roots as best I can in the hole and then gently just backfill the dirt. So we're making sure that the crown is not underneath. So that's all eight of the pine berries planted. Some of them are looking healthier than others, but we'll see how they do. There was some pine shavings that came in with the plants, so I just kind of spread those all around. And then all I need to do now is get some water and water these guys in. So don't be worried when you get your pine berries if they look pretty dried up and not much life. There's usually like one little bit that looks kind of white or light green. Basically they're dormant. Once you get them into the ground and give them some water, they perk up pretty quick. Oh, so don't worry. If Even if they look like they're on death's door, plant them and give them a chance. Look how this is my hands all the time, covered in dirt. Yeah, it's a garden manicure. Okay, so it's been about two months now. I just want to give a quick update at the end of this video. The alpine strawberries are doing amazing. I'll see if I can find one to show you guys. I'm gonna do a separate video on these because they're my new favorite strawberries. They have these tiny little strawberries which taste amazing. Also, some hens and chicks are now here. And the pine berries. We lost a few. This one I just noticed today is starting to send out runners, which is awesome. So this plant has two runners and there's a runner starting on this plant. So right now the tally stands at one, two, this is looking at the strongest plant, three, four, and five. So we have five of the eight that survived, which isn't horrible. I mean, it's not great, but it's not horrible. 
and uh, with the runners, hopefully we'll end up with a few more plants. Definitely recommend the alpine strawberries and uh, hopefully in not too long, I'll be tasting some pine berries. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because YouTube loves that and it helps me reach more people. As always, don't forget to go out there and enjoy the little things and make food grow. Bye guys.